Hello everyone, it's Millie. Sorry I haven't uploaded in a while. My Mac has been kind of spazzing out a little bit and my iMovie and Final Cut Pro has not been working as well as it should. But I think I've got it working again, so we'll see anyway. I have started a second channel as well and the link will be in the first three lines of the description. If you could go check it out and subscribe, that would be amazing. On to the video. Organising your life. In the past, honestly, I haven't been the most organised person, but recently I have started to become a lot more organised and I jotted down a few of the things that make me organised now and I'm going to share them with you so that you can organise your life. So the first thing is when you organise, it's mainly going to be organised around your bedroom. Like when you organise, you're going to organise in your bedroom, write things down, etc. So you will want to work in a tidy environment. So if you are writing something down with a pen, after you finish using it, put it back in the jar and have a place for everything. So make sure everything has it at home. Because I'm sure we have that one drawer in our room where we're just like bits and bobs. When I was younger, I used to call it my bits and bobs drawer. So basically where something that I didn't have a home went and it just kind of built, built up and then you have wrappers and stuff like that in there. Okay, the second thing I came up with uh, myself, as I did most of these, but this one that I have now is not really used by many people, I don't think. But basically all you need is some post-it notes and a pen and the more colourful they are, the better, the most, the more enjoyable they are to uh, use I guess. What you need to do is anything you need in for the next day, so for me it'd be my homework, so if I had some chemistry homework to be in I'd write it down and go chemistry homework and I would stick it on my mirror, attach it to a piece of furniture that you will use a lot, like the headboard or your bed, anything that you will notice in the morning so that you can remember. Number three is an obvious one but it's quite surprising on how many people actually don't have one, but a diary. Uh, even a calendar works as well, but with a diary, all you need to do is any dates you have planned with anyone, write it down in your diary and then at the start of every week, have a look through your diary so you can see any upcoming events that may be taking place. I also use this for uh, YouTube video ideas, uh, things like that, and actually this is my planner I use for my YouTube videos. Number four is a timetable app. Don't worry, this video is not sponsored or anything. But it's a timetable app and basically all the lessons I have throughout the day I can schedule into this app and it will tell me what lessons next and it's so easy to work and use and it doesn't take a very technical person to get the hang of it. And also you can make all the lessons colourful, you can put what times the lessons are and it's just a really really good app and it's completely free. This isn't a specific thing. But it's just something in general, make organising cute or anything you use to organise, make it cute. So, for example, the post-it note I did and sticking it to your mirror, don't just use the uh, yellow ones, like mix it up a bit, use the pink, the green, the blue ones and just put them all on your mirror so they just look really, really nice and inviting and it'll just make it a lot more fun to organise things in a way. Paint your keys. So. The amount of times my mum, my dad, my friends have said to me, okay, I have these two keys, but I don't really know which one it is. Or they have like 50 keys on one little loop. It's freezing cold, it's like winter outside and you're with them, and they have to go through about 50 keys to find the right one. Believe it or not, my voice like croaked then. Believe it or not, your phone is actually a really, really good organiser. And the main thing that I use to organise uh, myself on my phone is notes. Now notes is a really obvious one that everyone knows about, but people don't really use it that often and I think it's a really good thing to use when you <coughs> when you're making notes. Because if you're a teenager or even past teenage years or even before, we all have a phone and most of us carry our phone around with us 24-7 every day. So just to have it with you, if you put like a reminder on your notes, you don't have to worry about like remembering the piece of paper that you wrote down your notes on it's just on your phone and also if you save it to your iCloud you've got no chance of losing it so you can always retrieve it no matter what happens again this next one is not a thing but to stop procrastinating if you want to get organized you need to stop procrastinating <coughs> <coughs> That sounded like a theme tune for some TV programme. <coughs> if you want to tidy your room, don't go, oh, I'll tidy it tomorrow when you can... <coughs> <coughs> oh my God. If you want to tidy your room, don't go, oh, right, I'll tidy it tomorrow then because tonight I'm really busy watching Netflix because, you know, there's a new episode of Pretty Little Liars out so I need to watch that or... 
you know, just go straight into it. Go, right, I got the idea of tidying my room, I'm going to do it now. Also, if you're really unmotivated, get the timer on your phone, set it to 15 minutes, and in that 15 minutes, work like crazy. No breaks, no stops for water, no stops for food, just work like absolute crazy and get everything done as much as you can and when the time goes off if you're really feeling motivated you can carry on but when the time goes off ultimately just stop what you're doing go back to Netflix and pizza that was my Valentine's this year also with the stop procrastinating one uh, get rid of distractions iPads iPhones iPods just get rid of them although none of us really use iPods anymore and the last one is once you complete a task uh, for example homework uh, tick it off your list and reward yourself and what you can do for this one if you want to be more inventive and creative put down different rewards uh, fold them on a piece of paper put them in a hat and pick one out ranging from like a chocolate bar to even like go on a spa day on Saturday just reward yourself in that way and it's just a really really great way to get yourself motivated to do all these things I hope you enjoyed this video that is the end I am obviously not the most organized person but I'm sort of organizing these are the main tips so if they did help you please leave a comment letting me know and thumbs up this video if you haven't subscribed already please do I upload whenever the hell I want to and have a beautiful day and don't forget to stay positive Mwah. bye guys